everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Undrafted Views, where we talk sports from the sidelines. My name is Sha, and I am here with my co-host, Eve. Say what's up to the people. Hey, people. <laughs> what's going on? So today we are going to discuss the Eastern Conference Finals, where Boston and Miami are duking it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really a good series, actually. I'm excited. You know, I picked Boston, but right now they're down by two. But I hope that they can find their 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 competitive, you know, boost of energy and get it done, at least win the series. However, I do feel that Miami, the heat may sweep. Um, <laughs> based off of that. I know that recently there was reports that um, Boston had a fallout in the locker room. Maybe this fallout is what they need, you know, to kind of respark them again. But if I, right. sometimes you need to have those conversations, although they may be heated, you need to have those conversations to get people back on track, right? To build the chemistry back together. So I think it was very healthy, actually, that they yeah. had the fallout. I would rather them have the fallout in the locker room than have a fall out on the court and not play well. So I'm glad it happened for them because sometimes that does change the tide and change the trajectory on how people now move forward together. So I'm happy about it. Mm, okay. Very good. So what's interesting is Boston had a significant lead in both game one and game two. Yeah. And then somehow the Miami, see, this is what I'm talking about. They are gritty and they do not give up. They play until the clock says 0.00. Yeah. You cannot relax against the Miami Heat. That is you correct. Can't. You know, with players like Jimmy Butler and Jay Crowder uh -huh. and you got Goran Dragic, who to me was like a standout in game one. He pulled down 29 points. Butler had 20 and Adebayo had 18 with a huge block at the end against Jason Tatum. Yes. How can you beat that? You, you can't. Not mm -hmm. when you have at least five players on your team that can get you double digits. Easy. At least five, right? And then don't let's talk about Hero. You never know when he may show up. So right. the Heat has heat <laughs> <laughs> in their players that you can at least get double digits from at least five of them. And that is huge when some teams, Boston, you may have double digits maybe from two, maybe three. Mm -hmm. Maybe three. and it depends. And that third person could be if Kimba Walker's on fire. Otherwise, it may just be Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum. So mm -hmm. there are more weapons on the Heat from these two games that I've seen so far than there is in Boston. Yeah, and exactly. also the Boston team needs to watch their turnovers. You are actually allowing the Heat to get another possession. Control that because if you don't control that. They already got you on defense anyway. So now you're giving them another chance to go back down and get another offensive play. You, you, mm -hmm. you, you, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So Boston needs to kind of figure out what that looks like. Brad, huh? Brad, see, get it together. <laughs> if you want to see the 2021 series, see. So as a, as a Celtic head coach, you know, I have been screaming from the sidelines that Brad Stevens is not the right coach for the Boston Celtics. To me, now, Brad has paid his time in the collegiate arena. But mm -hmm. something about the pro game is way different. You're dealing with grown men. He's dealing with all these A-plus personalities. And his personality is not that. He's more mm -hmm. laid back, laid chill. They had nerve to give him a mic. They had nerve <laughs> to mic up Brad Stevens. And so I said, oh, okay, I want to see what his huddle is like. When I tell you... I was not motivated at all. <laughs> How are you going to motivate the Celtics when you coming at them like that? It's just, he's just too analytical. And I think he really, really should be an assistant coach. Now he's probably a good coach, but he needs to be assistant coach. He is not going to lead this group of guys to the mountaintop. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. I, I can see that. Um, but that's who they got now. So they better figure it out. Who is the leader on the Boston team? Who do you think is the leader? Who rally? Who what player? What player is the leader that rallies the team together? Who do you think that mm -hmm. is? I want to say well, uh, we all know Jason Tatum is the best player. Mm -hmm. But 
I don't know that he's vocal enough. I don't know that he's going to corral them when they're down or, 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 you know, I just don't champion them when they're up. I probably would have to say Kimba. I think Kimba Walker is their leader. Okay. Kimba Walker is actually the veteran, right? On their team. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's, he's been around these parts before. Okay. All right. But Kimba mm-hmm. Walker can sometimes be inconsistent. And I think yeah. when he is inconsistent, it does um, impact how they, um, how the score turns out. Right now, he did pretty good in game two. He had 23 points in game two. Yeah, he played way better. He in game one, he had 19, but it was a struggle 19. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't a struggle. Yeah, he, it, he wasn't playing like himself. In game two, I was really impressed. His mid range was falling. He was playing yeah. great D. Uh-huh. Seemed like to be the old Kimba from back in the yeah. day. That's the thing about it, though. Do you have to hold your breath for the old Kimba? You shouldn't yeah. have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that. I don't know. I just think that um, we got, they're down, Boston is down two. There is still hope. The series is still young, if you really think about it. It can be anybody's series. And so hopefully they'll figure it out. But um, yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm just concerned about the turnovers and, you know, mm-hmm. possible points that are gained from the heat because of the turnovers that Boston needs to get control over. It's hard. The Heat defense, I'm telling you. The, the Heat defense is just superior. Eric Spostra, he has those guys on a string on defense. They know exactly where to be. They bring the intensity. He has the right role players. You got the right leader in Jimmy Butler. They're going to hold each other accountable. And um, I'm sorry. The Boston players are like young, like I said, young players. With the exception of Kimba, he's young, but he's been in the league for some time. Yeah, and Miami are just a bunch of grown men. Period. No, but they're young too. The the, the age is no different than what the Boston age age bracket is. They're grown men with grown men strength. Did you see that block out of bio? Tatum came to the rim with all he had, and out of bio blocked it with one one little hand. Like it was amazing. (laughs) Did you see? Bam said that he's, he had two fingers that were numb. Yeah, yeah, two fingers went numb on him. Hey. His fingers went numb. I'm like, man. Oh, that was the man. best. But, but we said in the previous video that one thing that Miami has over Boston is grit. Mm-hmm. It's grit. And it is showing up in the first two games. Mm-hmm. Miami's grit is unmatched. Oh, absolutely. And that was one of the things I was concerned about. Um, when they're go- when Boston is going up against Miami is because Boston doesn't have it. They don't have it. Mm-mm. They have talent. Yes. Grit. They don't have it. And so unfortunately they're easily bullied by Miami heat because of their defense and because of their grit. And it really, it is showcasing itself in this series and Miami mm-hmm. is benefiting from that grit. So. For sure. But, you know, one of the things that really stood out for me was uh, Jason Tatum. He tried to play hero ball at the end of both games. You can't do that. You have to get your teammates involved. You can't just dribble until the time runs out and try to shoot a fallback three when Marcus Smart was open under the rim. You cannot do that. And I think that's part of their blow up. You know, uh-huh. Marcus Smart was op- wide open in game one. And he was like, okay, I'm going to let that one slide. But then game two, Jason Tatum also tried to play hero ball and not get everybody involved. And I think that really probably took Marcus Smart over the top. You can't play hero ball. There is no hero ball against the Heat. No. It is strategy. And you cannot go. So I don't want to see Jason Tatum do another one arm euro step late. You're not going to do it. <laughs> uh-huh. Bam, that should be removed from your game in this series mm-hmm. because you know the heat is going to meet you at the rim. So, I don't yeah, know. it's just well, too bad. I know. I hope uh, Boston is able to win game three. I, I, you know, to make entertaining, right? It'll be two to one. It's like, okay, well, maybe they have a shot. But I can tell you one thing if Boston lose game three, it is going to be a sweep, which will be so disappointing. I don't know if Boston has the tenacity that the Nuggets have, that when they're down like that, they can overcome it. I don't see that in Boston. 
you know, Boston will be down three and they'll be like, well, shoulders will be slumped in the game. You know, their whole body language will be all out of whack. You know how it is, right? Uh -huh. so I just don't, I, and they haven't been able, they haven't had an opportunity to display that, but hopefully they can come up with something. But if they win game three, I'm going to have to be uh, with you. I know I picked Boston, so I'm really rooting for them, but it's hard to root when you are not performing. I just, it's, yeah. and when you are turning over the ball and, you know, your, your top score player, you don't have enough weapons on your team to kind of mm -hmm. help supplement sometimes when other people are not playing at their best or your stars are not playing at their best. And I think that's one of the things that they're missing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for, hey, you know what? I don't mind Miami going to the, to the, yeah. to the big dance. I don't mind Ooh. them at all because I know that once they get there, oh, it's on, it's on, it is on. I, I just can't wait. Matter of fact, let's go on and get this series over. Send Miami to the finals. Actually, at this point, both the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference games can really be done for me. I, I can, <laughs> let's just go ahead on. Let's just call it what it is right now. Lakers and Heat. Let's just move on. Let's yeah. just move on. The finals will be the Lakers and the Heat. And that is the game I'm looking forward to. Yeah. But it will be a better series. To yes. have Miami and the Lakers and the narrative, right? LeBron played for the Heat, won champ back to back championships with the Heat, and to be knocked off by the Heat. I mean, uh, that would be a great story. <laughs> and the NBA needs it at this point. Oh, the NBA needs it at this point. They want to keep their right. Yeah. 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 I can tell you right now, the Western Conference series. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we need to move forward and let's, let's get it. So, yeah. Come on, Boston. Get back in. Hopefully the blow up helps y'all regroup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. All right, you guys, we are going to wrap this one up. Make sure you write in the comments who you think is going to take this series. I mean, I have Miami, always had Miami. So, hey, you know, that's who I have. eBay has Boston, kind of. You know, she's always on the fence. Always. So, absolutely. And that's okay. Yes, always. <laughs> I and I have, it's my right to change. So if I believe the heat may sweep, may, which gives me an out, which gives me an out, I'm going to sweep. All right. So yeah, so put down in the comments what your predictions are, and we will see you guys on the next one. But until then, hey. <laughs>